이번에는 나라박 소식입니다. 세계 최대의 난민 수용소가 있는 곳이 아프리카 케냐라는 것을 아는 사람은 아마 드물 것 같습니다. 대부분이 중동 지역이나 유럽의 난민 수용소가 있다고 생각하기 때문인데요. 세계 최대의 난민 캠프가 있는 케냐에서 전해온 소식입니다. Getting clearance to visit the camp is not easy. After weeks of waiting, the Kenyan government gave CBN News the green light to land on a dirt airstrip in the middle of a parched and barren desert. 270 miles northeast of Kenya's capital city, Nairobi. You land there, you get in a car, and you start driving on a dusty road. There is no tarmac road. Some mountains off in the distance. So you're stuck in the middle of a desert with nothing. Purely nothing. Welcome to Dadaab, the world's largest refugee camp. And they live in these camps, which are essentially uh, makeshift camps. Dome-like huts made from sticks and plastic sheeting dot the arid landscape. The climate is brutal, hot all year, with hardly a drop of rain. American aid worker Christopher Hoffman works in Dadaab. The food, the education, the hospitalization, the medical care, everything, the water, the toilets, everything is provided to you. Ibrahim was 20 years old when war disrupted life as he knew it. Somalia, I could we were forced to flee from Somalia across the border into Kenya, and this is where we ended up. He hoped his stay here would be short-lived, a temporary place to wait out the violence. That never happened. Now, 25 years later, with 17 children, four grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren, Ibrahim, like so many others here, has witnessed multiple generations of families growing up in Dadaab. When the camp opened back in 1992, it was only supposed to hold about 90,000 people. Well, today, nearly 25 years later, more than 340,000 refugees call this place home. Teresa Angaro is with a new agency that oversees operations in Dadaab. Her group, in partnership with other aid agencies, provides refugees with food, water, health care and education. For all the difficulties, Angaro says... This is the safest place that the refugees can go to and the place that they have now, uh, that they now call home. But that's about to change. The Kenyan government wants to close the camp and send Somali refugees like Mohammed, who runs an ice-making factory in the camp, back to their war-torn homeland. As you can imagine, he is nervous about returning. Somalia is still in the middle of an Islamic insurgency that hasn't recovered from decades of conflict. Nothing has changed there. It is still a dangerous place. Authorities want to shut the place down because they believe it's a center for recruiting Islamic terrorists. Kenya government has expressed concerns about uh, security, mostly terrorism. Uh, following various attacks in the country. For now, Ibrahim tries to give his family hope, but knows the future ahead is uncertain. I'm thankful that Kenya has hosted us for the last 25 years, but it's going to be a big mistake to return us to a war zone. It's like throwing people into a fire.